The IMG tag in HTML is used to embed images in web pages. It's a self-closing tag, meaning it does not need an end tag. The IMG tag makes it possible to display images on a website, contributing to the visual appearance and user experience of the site. Here are some key attributes and aspects of the IMG tag. The SRC source attribute is required for the IMG tag, the path to the image you want to display. This can be a relative path to a file within your website's directory structure or an absolute URL to an image hosted on another server. The alt alternative attribute provides alternative text for the image if it cannot be displayed for some reason. This is important for accessibility, allowing screen readers to describe the image to visually impaired users. It also helps with SEO. The width and height attributes specify the width and height of the image in pixels. Setting these attributes helps the browser to allocate space on the page before the image is downloaded, which can improve the layout stability and loading experience of the page. If you want to specify the width and height in other units than pixels, you can use CSS to define the width and the size in all of the available units. These override the ones you have set on the IMG tag. The loading attribute of the IMG tag specifies how a browser should load images, offering three options, eager, lazy and auto. Eager, the default behavior, loads images immediately as the page loads, ideal for critical above the fold content. Lazy postpones the loading of images until they are nearly in the viewport, enhancing performance and reducing data consumption for off-screen images. Auto leaves the decision to the browser, allowing it to choose between eager or lazy loading based on factors like connection speed and device type, optimizing the loading strategy dynamically. To make the image responsive and ensure they work well on devices with different screen sizes and resolutions, you can use the source set, SRC SET attribute or the picture tag. This allows you to specify multiple image files for different screen conditions in two different ways. The picture tag in HTML works as a container to provide multiple source tags and one IMG tag, enabling you to specify alternative image sources for different display and device scenarios. This setup allows browsers to choose the most appropriate image source based on factors such as screen size, resolution and type of display. For example, whether it's a high resolution retina display. The IMG tag within the picture tag serves as a fallback for browsers that do not support the picture tag. In this example, large.jpg is loaded on devices with a viewport width of 800 pixels or more. medium.jpg is used for devices with a viewport width of 450 pixels or more. And small.jpg is the default image for smaller devices, or in cases where the browser does not support the picture tag. The picture tag can also be used to provide images in different formats, allowing the browser to choose a format it supports. This is especially useful for using modern image formats like WebP, which offer better compression than traditional formats like JPEG or PNG, but are not supported by all browsers. Here, the browser will attempt to load image.webp if it supports the WebP format, otherwise it will fall back to image.jpg. The source set attribute allows you to specify a list of image sources, along with their respective width or pixel densities. The browser then selects the most appropriate image from this list based on the current device characteristics. You can specify the width of each image in pixels after its source using the W descriptor. This helps the browser choose an image based on the layout width of the IMG tag. Best practices. Always include the alt attribute for accessibility. Use appropriate file formats, for example JPEG, PNG, SVG and WebP, where SVG and WebP is to prefer because they have a much smaller footprint while maintaining a good quality. Set a width and height so the browser knows how big your image is and can allocate the space for it in your website as the content is loading, mostly to reduce everything jumping around. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Thank you, bye.